The attorney for ousted OSU band director John Waters is speaking out tonight about the university's action following a two-month investigation into what it called the sexually charged culture of the OSU marching band. The fired band director's lawyer tonight decided to speak on camera about the investigative report. That as OSU's detailed complaint against Jonathan Waters. Kristen Hartman interviewed his attorney, David Axelrod, about an hour ago. If you were to put a headline on the message you hope to send with this, what would it be? Jonathan Waters is a fundamentally good person who at every turn has attempted to do the right thing. He loves Ohio State University, he bleeds scarlet and gray, but he cannot and will not allow even his beloved alma mater to take away his good name. The report acknowledges that although the investigation went on for 60 days, they interviewed exactly four of 225 Ohio State University marching band members. And of the thousands and thousands of alumni in the area, they interviewed exactly five. So this report is incomplete, uh, it's in, and it, it's one-sided, and it's, a, it's being used to make Jonathan a scapegoat. Why do you think he is a fall guy? Uh, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's imp I could only speculate about that. If they've gotten rid of the wrong guy, who is the right guy to get rid of? Well, I'm not sure there's a right guy to get rid of now. Jonathan inherited a culture that had gone on for years. Um, you know, I'm not in a position to say what should have happened, if anything, with respect to his predecessors, but he was not a person who deserved the treatment that he received. He's in shock. He's distraught. He's spending private time with his family trying to figure out what the next steps are. Axelrod said they will fight to clear Waters' name. He wouldn't comment on specific allegations in the complaint because he continues to review it, having just received it late last week. He did say Waters regrets not having more time to turn around what the university called the sexually charged culture of the band, that it was something he was working diligently on and that he instituted alcohol abuse training, leadership training, and sexual abuse training. Ohio State is forming a task force now to try to correct the problems officials say they found in the band's culture. A former attorney general will lead it. More members are expected to be announced this week. You can read the full 92-page OSU report and hear reaction to Waters firing at 10TV.com.